former President Trump's huge win in Iowa may make it more likely that we will see an independent unity ticket from the candidates from both parties. A group called No Labels says its polling shows most Americans would consider that option if we end up with a rematch between former President Trump and President Biden. Let's bring in the chief strategist for No Labels, Ryan Clancy. Ryan, great to have you on here. I want to put this up on the board. We just talked about the numbers, so here it is. Percentage of U.S. adults who say if the following candidate was nominated, they would be, and if it was Joe Biden, satisfied 27 percent, dissatisfied, you can see 56 percent, and then for the former president, 31 percent satisfied, 58 percent dissatisfied. You would think this kind of opens the, the, the door for no labels, yes? Absolutely. I mean, this tracks with the polling we've been looking at for well over two years now. In fact, when we asked voters directly if it's Trump, Biden in a moderate independent choice in 2024, something like six out of 10 say they would at least be open to that option. Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, RFK was on the story. She, he was talking to Martha a couple of weeks ago, and he said this about numbers and maybe they're not precise, but, uh, but he makes a, a pretty good example. Watch. I only need 34 points to win the election. Because I, I, and technically, hypothetically, you, I could win with 34 points if the other two got 33. It's winner take all. And that's how I'm going to win. I have 10 months to take 4.5 vote uh, percentage points from both other candidates. I mean, look, the math, a lot of political experts will say, is a little bit more complicated than that, but you kind of get the point there, Ryan. No, but I mean, the, the basic structure of that argument is correct. If you, if you think about the way our system works, it is winner take all in the Electoral College. Every state except for Maine and Nebraska, you mm -hmm. win the most votes in a state, you get 100% of the electoral votes. So in a multi-candidate race, you could have 34, 35% of the vote in a state, you get all the electoral votes that come, come with it. That's one of the main reasons we think a unity ticket really has a shot this year. Yeah, and, and I look at this because the voter analysis, we had this, and we, we've touched on this, you know, we touched on it a couple of times last night. It finds that 89% of Americans want a substantial change or total upheaval in how the country is, right? And you look at the numbers there, no small change, 11%, substantial or total upheaval, 89%. The number on the right in the red is a big number, but it doesn't necessarily bode well or mean your whole ticket, right? It means that they're looking at somebody like President Trump because they really do believe that, that he is getting the short end of the deal and they believe that they are next. Uh, look, it means that there's an opening. It means that there is profound dissatisfaction unlike anything we've ever seen before. And look, the thing is, is the broken establishment in D.C. knows this appetite is out there, which is part of the reason they're mobilizing so strongly to come after us. In fact, one of the really troubling things we learned this week is that the state election commissioner in Delaware, President Biden's home state, is actually trying to keep us off the ballot, despite the fact that we have done everything we need to do to qualify for there. It, it's really a shameful episode. Who's your top choice? Who, who's your who's uh, your team? Well, we don't we don't have anybody who has an inside track at this point. At, at this point, we are focused on getting on the ballot. And in fact, just today we got on in our 14th state, Kansas. We will make a decision mm -hmm. sometime after Super Tuesday when we have some more clarity on the major party nominees. Um, one, whether or not we'll offer up our ballot line to a ticket, and then two, yeah. who would ultimately be on it. Yeah, we, uh, we've heard the name Joe Manchin bandied about several bit. Here's a little bit of him, and then we'll get your final thoughts. So you're not closing the door on running yourself? <laughs> you get asked this question. I'm going to do everything I can mm -hmm. to save my country, and I'll do whatever it takes. I'll help whoever, and I'll support whoever that I think can best help this country come back to the s common sense, sensible middle, which is center left, center right, working together yeah. with a majority. You can't govern from the extremes. I think if I have this right, Ryan, what you're saying is if, if this turns out to be Trump Biden, you know, again, then you would you would have more of a likelihood to mount this this campaign. But if Nikki Haley were to somehow win the nomination, you would be less inclined to mount a, a third party. Yeah, I think that's right. We, we've said all along this is something we only want to do if we think there's an opening, if we think a unity ticket can win. And if it's a Trump Biden rematch, we think those are the conditions where there's the best open. 
and you think your team going forward could be potentially a Republican uh, at the top of the ticket, a Democrat at the top of the ticket, and a Republican in the second in the second spot? It could be either permutation, but our goal all along has been a, a Democrat and a Republican on the ticket, though we'd be open to an independent being on there, too. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Ryan Clancy, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.